Hi, welcome. Today we're doing a, a parable, the parable of the marriage feast. Let us read and then we will explore the meaning of the parable. Again, Jesus spoke to them in parables saying, the kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a marriage feast for his son and sent his servant to call those who were invited to the marriage feast, but they would not come. Again, he sent other servants saying, tell those who are invited, behold, I have made ready my dinner, my oxen and my fat calves are killed and everything is ready, come to the marriage feast. But they made light of it and went off, one to his farm, another to his business. While the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully and killed them. The king was angry and he sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their cities. Then he said to his servants, the wedding is ready but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the thoroughfares and invite to the marriage feast as many as you find. And those servants went out into the streets and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there a man who had no wedding garment. And he said to him, friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, buy him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. There men will weep and gnash their teeth for many accord but few are chosen. Again, Jesus speaks in parables. He is hiding the spiritual meaning behind the parable because the way of God is the design and the fulfillment. As a man going out to build his house, he made the design of the house, how many bedrooms he want. He built the house according to that design. When the house is completed, the house is the fulfillment of that design. Jesus gave this parable as a design. The fulfillment is the spiritual meaning behind this parable. So according to my Bible study, the king is God and the king prepared a heavenly banquet for his son, Jesus. And the servants are the Old Testament prophets. You know, they were called to invite um, the Israel and um, and then, you know, some of the prophets was killed um, or persecuted and then um, God destroyed their cities, which is Jerusalem, were destroyed and then God, God the king sent more servants, which is the apostles, uh, to invite the Gentiles for the bad and the good are the Gentiles, like us, we're the Gentile, to the celebration. And those who are lacking the proper attire, had no wedding garment, will be ca cast into darkness. Basically, we can see this parable as God inviting us to a feast of eternal life. And if uh, we refuse, we will miss out. And if we have no wedding garment, we will also be cast out. So the question is, what is the wedding garment? So in the, in the spiritual world, God is pure spirit. And to live eternally, you must have that spirit of God dwelling in you. And 
if we have that spirit dwelling in us then we have the wedding garment and i share with you this verse um from romans chapter 8 verse 11 if the spirit of him who raised jesus from the dead dwells in you he who raised christ jesus from the dead will give life to your mortal bodies also through his spirit who dwells in you and so the wedding garment is that spirit of god we live in a fulfillment time the time from the moment of jesus resurrection to the end of war is a fulfillment time we are invited to the banquet of eternal life and we need to have the wedding garment we need to have the spirit of god dwelling in us how do we know we have the spirit of god dwelling in us we know by examine ourselves because it's written here in galatians chapter 5 the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness goodness faithfulness gentleness self-control we need to examine the fruit of the spirit because that's the sure way of knowing uh, some people feel the Holy Spirit, some people don't feel the Holy Spirit. Uh, but I think the fruit is what we need to really look at. And so um, in conclusion, God invites all of us to celebrate eternal life with His Son Jesus forever in heaven, life forever. And we should say yes to God. We should make sure we have the wedding garment. So that's it for today. That is the fulfillment of that parable. Um, thank you for joining me.